All right. I am hoping I'll be able to see everyone's comments because if only I could pull the, there has to be a way to like pull comments and set them beside my screen on my computer. Okay. I was printing out stickers earlier. So, getting into silhouette. So I have opened my silhouette. We'll just pretend like this is all blank. Um, mine is the business edition. To do SVGs, I know I said you can get SVGs on um, Etsy, and you totally can. But to do SVGs, you do need the designer edition or the business edition. Um, you can go to silhouetteamerica.com and get them, and it'll upload like straight to your stuff. Or you can get a key card off Amazon and key in the code on silhouetteamerica.com. Um, so you need a designer edition or business edition. So um, I hope I can just, I'll just type that. For SVGs, you need a designer edition or business edition so holla okay I get really excited when I learn new stuff so up here it'll tell you your edition mine's business edition so I can run multiple silhouettes at once it gives me a bunch of new stuff that I don't probably use a whole lot but I do like the multiple um, silhouettes at one time Plus, like Lacey, my sister, who you guys got to see earlier, she uses Mod Podge for glitter. That was Lacey. Um, we're connected. So our libraries are all connected. Um, okay, good. So I'm low. Okay. So, like, I'm in my library right now. I can go to Lacey's library. So we're all connected. I love that. That's on my glitters. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is annoying because every time I touch something, I lose your guys' comments. There's got to be another way to do, like, the comments. I just don't know how. That's okay. We'll figure it out. So, I've just come into my silhouette. The first thing I'm going to do is set up my sheet of paper. Um, so, if you're doing vinyl, I mean, you could use this if it's short. I always kind of use the automatic for vinyl. Okay. Um, so if I'm going to print out a name, I got Jessica. All right, so this is page setup. Usually this comes up right whenever you open a new page. Um, hopefully I'm still on this thing doing okay because I can't see it anymore. <laughs> so this comes up right when you open a new page. So you set your mat settings. This is my vinyl one. If I'm going to do my water slides or printable vinyl, um, then I change it to like the letter. We're just going to pretend like just because of water slide right now. If I'm doing printable vinyl, my registration marks are right here. This third one here. And you want cameo, portrait, curio. So that's only if you're going to send it to the printer and then send it through your cutter. You do not need registration marks for clear water slide. You only need them for like printable vinyl or like my stickers. I would need them for my stickers. Um, Cause that's how your silhouette knows what to cut. Okay. So if I push this, another thing I need to do, I'll go back to this real quick. So like on my stickers, this red box here, See, these are my registration marks. I've already got them on. So I send it to my printer here. Whatever image you have with your trace or your lines around it where you want cut. Okay, so we send it to the printer. Shoop. Goes through the printer. Then when we go up to send, you just need to make sure whatever one you want is the one that's on. So I have red and sticker paper. And then I put it through, and it'll register it using these marks. That's why these marks have to go on printable vinyl um, or things you want cut around like this, things that you're going to send to the printer and have cut around. Does that make sense? So 
So it's in your page setup for that. So I have my printer paper, I have my page set up. Registration marks, Cameo, Portrait, Curio. Curio. I don't know what that is. Curio. Curio. This is cool. I can now put barcodes on the designs. Not that I need to, but if, if I was putting barcodes on my um, cups and stuff, there, there you go. Okay. Sometimes I feel like whenever I explain things, I'm explaining them really poorly. <laughs> so I like to make sure that I am saying it the way it needs to be said. Because sometimes my husband's like, you just say a lot of words that make no sense to other people. I'm like, oh, good to know. Okay, so if I go back to the one that I just did. So I wrote Jessica. I want to double layer her name because I'm going to put it on a chevron. So I want it awesome. Um, this is a 20 ounce skinny, so I'm going to make it nice and long. And then I like to right click. You can also go to panels, textile, or right click and go to textile. I tend to right click things. There's my wolf spain that I told you guys I use all the time. I mean, literally, all the time. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Okay. So I need it a lot longer. And then I weld it. So right click, weld. That's going to get all these little extra pieces off. And then I group it. Okay, so we did right, we did panels, textile, wolf spain, right click, weld, and then group. Right click, group. Right there. So then if I want to double layer this baby in two different colors. So I want this one in my really cool silver. Um, I usually just leave the line color, but let's do it by fill color. So I went to panels, fill color. Now I can, I want to go to panels, offset, offset here. And now you can figure out how big you want it. I think 125 looks very big on a cup. So I usually stay around 75, um, 80. Sometimes 60 if I want it a little less, but the like 125, it, it makes it so there's like no holes in the E and stuff here. Um, so I just think it's too much. Then you can decide if you want it curved like it is now, which I like with scripts, or you can make it so that it is pointy, which this one like has no points anyway, so it's not going to be a difference. And then apply. Now, before I click it, Anything else, I go up to panels, fill color, and I want this color to be black. Bam. And then I group everything. Right click, well, select all, and then I group together. Just so that her name stays together, I like to group things. Because normally I'll print out a bunch of names at once, and I'll move, or not print them out at once. I'll put them all on here at once. And like, if Jessica's is a different color than everyone else's, I move it over. You know what I mean? So I like to have it grouped. Okay, so we did Jessica, panels, textile, text style. Why did that get so hard to say? Wolf Spain, right click weld so that we don't have it cutting. Because if we don't weld it, like the E is going to cut through the S and the I is going to cut through the C. And then I group it, right click group. And then I fill colored it. You don't have to fill color. You could just do line colors. I just kind of like to show, you know, things when the colors are all filled. So I fill colored gray. Then I went up to panels again. Offset. Right now I don't have anything clicked, so nothing's going to offset it. Offset here, and then mine was at 75 or 70. I think I did 70. Um, and apply. And then before I click anything, because if you click off of it, you have to go back through and like click all this little offset you just did to get it. So I, I leave it, I leave it um, selected, go to panels, fill color, and then pick your fill color. Okay, does that make sense so far? Or is that just like a total ramble nation from Ashley? <laughs>
So to print this, <clears throat> if I'm printing on adhesive vinyl, then I just go to send. And if I want Jessica to be, you know, two different colors, it doesn't matter which one you print first, but I'm going to go to fill. And I'm going to so deselect whatever one I want. I don't want to print right now. So I'm going to print the, the black area first. So I put my black vinyl in and push send. It's done. So then I take it out, unload it, put it off to the side. Then I select my silver pretty holographic vinyl, put it on my sheet, push send, and send it through. So it prints in two separate ones, but they fit together perfectly. It's pretty awesome that like Silhouette can, can print so many separate things, but then they all just fit together so perfectly. It like amazes me. <laughs> so you're going to put the silver on top of the black. Okay, so that's a double layer. Um, if you don't want a double layer, which some people don't like a double layer, it doesn't bother me a bit, but you can... Let me see if I remember how to do this because like I said, I don't I don't do this super often. I think I have to ungroup it. Panels modify. Um Hello, silhouette, are you like broken right now? <laughs> Just like stop doing stuff. To get my computer cleaned out so bad right now. Real. Oh, it's doing something. Well, that was not like guys don't do <laughs> I can't remember what it is that you can push. Maybe it's crop. And it will oh it was it was subtract all. So if you do that. then it cuts through the black. But this is hard. Like to me, it's really hard to line it up perfectly on the cup. So I just put my silver right on top of my black instead of cutting through like that. But if you want it to be like completely smooth, then you can cut through. It's just subtract all. The times I do cut through is if I'm make, making um, a shirt because I want my heat transfer to like touch the shirt. So I cut through on shirts um, sometimes. Sometimes on words I don't because it's hard. But always on like mini heads and things of that nature, I cut through. Um, or if I'm like got just a ton of layers, if I have like layer after layer after layer, then I cut through. So that I don't, I'm not like building up a big old, you know, hump of layers. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is, I think Silhouette does a pretty good job, like making it fairly easy to offset things. Um, you just have to print them through two different ways. Um, but it's not bad. And like I said, if you want to cut through, subtract all, you can cut through. I, I wouldn't. If you just have two layers for a cup, it's not a huge, it's not at all, like, you can't tell that much. I would just leave it. Um, but if you have a bunch of layers, you're going to have to cut through it. Let's see. Um, so here's registration marks. We did all this. Another really cool thing. Let me see. Where are you at? Is it you? Why can I never remember this? Okay. Wrapping a cup. Bam, 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 bam. How cool is this? I don't know if I don't know if every edition has this or if this is just a business edition. Um, but if you're making a full wrap for a tumbler, um, you can put in all your tumblers dimensions. It tells you, you know, which ones to put in here. Um, if you have words, you can say how much you want them curved. I don't ever do the words, <laughs> but like a cowhide and stuff, you can put in your inf information and it'll print it out so that it wraps around. I will tell you, always make this number a little tiny bit higher. Because for whatever reason, every time I come out, the exact number, it just does not quite cover. So that's really cool. So that's a wrap for a cup. How cool is it that they like know 
cups are hot right now. So, hey, let's make graphs for cups. How incredibly smart. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What's another feature I use a lot? Um, I mean, I, I love outlining stuff. This one's huge for me. Oh, okay. So let me show you monogram stuff really quick. I mean, really? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So, um, if I was just going to use the circle monogram that I have, because Lord knows that Ashley doesn't have time to mess with every single letter, um, but you can. So, I, I uploaded this one, so you guys have this. So this one looks like this, and then I'm going to show you how to do it by hand. It's been a while. A. Oh, come on. Just work for me. I guess I need to put my thing out there first. And then you can go back and click each side here. Round. L. Ah. <laughs> There are definitely things I would change about the silhouette, but I do love it for the most part. This would be one of them, like every time it goes right back up to the top for my letters. Like I'm clearly using the round. Make you a little bigger because I can't get to my V here. Yeah. This is center. So there's a round one. Oh, I can give you guys these two. I have, is it this one? No, this is arrows, but these look cute around. I have all these little arrows I can put on. Um, but let's see, I have one. There it is. Monograms. I've got these little circles here and I basically just build them like I, for these, for mine and the girls, um, I used I used this one, but I changed the colors, I think. Copy. Paste. Mega Mega. Ungroup. Change my colors. I like to sing things. I'm sorry. You know, it's me. It's what I'm going to do. Oh my goodness. You get so. Ah! <laughs> I just want you in there. Thank you. And you don't even have to really center this because you could print it out totally separate and then center it, unless you want it the same color as like your pink dots. Um, Totally not the same pink, but we're going to pretend like it is. Um, or if you don't want to pretend like it is, let me show you real quick how to fix this. You just go to this little um, pointer thingy here and bam, same color. Okay. So there's my initials and a cute little thing. I can put them on a cup. Um, if I want to put it on a shirt, I need to flip it. You need to print shirts off backwards. Is that, is that what it would be called backwards? <laughs> um, because of how you would lay the heat press stuff on. So, I mean, that's how I usually do them. Like I said, I can upload my different, most of them are just circles or just like random things, but they do look cute and the arrows look cute too. Um, and then the other one, if you're doing um, one of the script monograms I sent, you want to do A in lowercase, big, middle, and then small. And if you select it and go to textile, 
again, I put these on the um, under units, under fonts, so you guys can download these. Where am I going? I think it's called, I think it's called free monogram or something along those lines. Okay, maybe not. May have dreamed. There it is. See, it automatically will make my um, B bigger than the other letters. But you can still play with it more, too. You can ungroup. I feel like even though it says it's centered, it doesn't look centered. You can make your B a little bit bigger. Massive, if you want. Um, you can align them in the center, like using this little button here. See how it moved all of them up? How cool is that? And then you can space them. Um, but that so does not look like the right spacing. It's hard with script, I think, to space them perfectly because, you know, you get swirls and stuff. So I tend to space them myself on how I think they're going to look best. Um, so you can kind of play with your letters, make sure, you know, they're where you want them to be. This little tab here, you can line them up center with it. And then I agree. All right. And then I weld. I right click weld. And voila, they're all welded together, so they'll cut out, you know, like, the, I hate my initials because the F to me is always ugly. Um, <laughs> it just drives me crazy. Some people's initials look so pretty, mine are, mine are not one of them. Um, like Carrington, she has a K, A, and a B. Should have done hers because hers looks so even. It's so beautiful. K, A, B. Hers, you're like, man, hers looks a lot better. I'm like, yeah, I was thinking about my kids when I made their names, but I mean, it already looks better. It's all even. But still, if I want to mess with my B a little bit, make it even bigger, I can, or longer, how, whatever you want to do, um, because I just have to select them all and then go up to this little three line thing at the top. This is your aligned middle, and they're all back aligned again. Then select them all and weld them together. If you don't weld them, it's going to cut all through right here. You have all these little pieces that are just like floating around, just hanging. So hers looks so much better. Buy mine. This is why I put mine in <laughs> this form versus this form. So. Uh, hopefully, like I said, the monogram text that I put in fonts can be downloaded and it makes things really easy. I'll add the circles and stuff if you guys want them and the arrows. I know they're not like amazing, but they do look cute. Like the girls and I have a black shirt with lime green and pink with just this on it on the front and then it has my website on the back. It's so cute. It's an adorable shirt. It's so simple. So, and this looks really cute on pockets. I like to do this on pockets. Um, and this one, I mean, I, I like putting these on names. Another, oh, let me show you this real quick. I got one more, sorry. We'll do. I love, this is one of my favorite, okay? I'm gonna do Kinsey on this one. <laughs> let me make my K bigger. Shh. That worked. Okay. Um, so I usually will pick like a blocky K. Um, can't think of the one that I just used for someone's name that was real cute. It's not like super blocky, like, ew, I don't like that. Um, like sporty, but it was cute. Maybe something like this. But I feel like it was a little bigger than that. A little thicker. I want it thick because I'm going to put a name through here. Um, so I want a nice thick K. Century School Book's always cute. Um, what's this one? That's, that's a honker. That one, that one's going to work for today. Alright. I don't love it, but... I always make things bigger so I can see, and then I'll go back and shrink everything 
to the right size. So I'm going to put Kinsey through this in probably Wolfsbane, but we're going to see which one her name looks the best in. Yep, probably, because I love it. Nice and big. Oops. And to see it, we can add some color here. Panels, fill color. All right, so. If you did it just like this, first let me weld my Kinsey. Always weld script, always, because if not, it's going to cut through your letters. Okay, so you could do it just like this, but everywhere that it would touch this and go over, you would have like this little hump right here, little hump here, little hump here. You know, um, so I also always like to kind of turn mine. So I put it on there where I want it. Now I'm going to offset this just a little. So I go to offset. This is just the Kinsey. I have Kinsey selected. I'm going to offset. I'm going to go way down to like 60. See what that looks like. <clears throat> I love doing, I think this makes beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cups whenever you do things like this because it adds a little bit of like like a little extra element instead of just sticking that name like right on top there. I don't want to do it that small. We're going to do 65 to make my life easier. Apply. Okay. So let me kind of put the K where I want it. I don't always have it centered, and that's okay. So now I didn't group my Kinsey and my offset together because now I'm going to take this part away. I'm going to select all of this, panels, modify, subtract all, Beep. now erase this extra line here. We don't need this anymore. And now look how cute this is. I know it doesn't look like much on here, but <laughs> if this was on a cup, we're going to fill in behind here and just this one on a cup. We're just going to say purple. Just see how it like gives that extra layer in there. I just think it's so cute. I don't love it on purple, but <laughs> I'd probably put it on white because it's already, you know, bright enough, but I love having it like that. I do a lot of shirts like that. Um, and a lot of cups like that, like my cheer mom, I think my, so yeah, my softball mom, one that I have on right now is cut out like that so that it gives this little layer in between. I just think it adds just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just think it looks so cute. Um, so hopefully that made sense because that's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to do. Um, you can do it with, and you don't have to do it right through the center either. Like I said, my, my softball mom looks like this. If I did my cheer mom, so let's see. Cheer. Oh, good. We're still purple here. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to change it to black because I see better. Um, textile. College. Where are you? So I just want a cute cheer mom shirt that's simple. Then I want mom in like cursive or something or just some cute. Let's try the She Always Walks Alone. I tend to use that one a lot too for things. Just kind of depends what looks best.
Oh my goodness, this thing. I'm getting way too big of a hurry and <laughs> my computer's old. It's like, uh, chill. Oh my gosh, I just thought of what we're going to do. Okay. <laughs> so I have a cheer. I'm going to offset my cheer. And I'm actually going to leave it at the 125 for this one. Offset. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I still have that offset set, um, selected. So I'm going to push offset again. This is how I get like the double things around here. Apply. Panels. Fill color. Black. Yes, I see you. I should have done this inside first, and I didn't. But that's okay. Bam. Cheer. Um, and then we'll stick mom on there. Offset my mom. I just play around with it. I mean, that's all you can do is play around with them. And look. Um, I need to group these ones, I think. Group. And then select all these panels. Modify. Subtract all. Alright, so mom is now taken out. This purple needs to be a different color because it just looks weird. But here's where it gets cool. So apparently my shirt is white because that's what I. Panels, go color. It really is just a lot of playing with things. Let's see if that's on a white shirt, how cute. Oh, I need a random box. How cute that all is, you know? Um, or we can make the shirt red. Which is fun. Just, you know, it's just fun. You can do it like that too and three layer this on top of the red. Depends what you're going for. But yeah, that's so if you would print this out and you want to pull out this center, you would pick your black and your gray at the same time. <laughs> so many colors open right now. Um, but you'd pick your like black and your gray at the same time and then just pull out that center area, if that makes sense. Pretty cool. So hopefully, I know that was kind of like a lot in a short amount of time. So hopefully that made some sense and hopefully you guys can, you know, play with it. Um, I love, 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 love doing this. I'm telling you, this looks so beautiful and pips. Especially if you do like a maroon to gold and you use gold back here with white through the center. So like this is a little less intense and then you have the name. So I usually put like gold or silver, just some pretty color, and then the name and just a bright bam in your it looks so good. I just love it. So I use that a lot. But yeah, fonts are on under fonts unit. So you guys, you know, hop on there and see if you can download those. And that'll make your life a lot easier with these. Um but other than that, and just like I said, whenever you go to print it out, you know, I have so many colors. You want to go to fill, if you used fill colors, and pick whatever color you want to print. Print that one first, and then go back and, you know, print a different color. So, so if I want this two colors, I would first pick my purple, print that out. Unpick my purple, pick my pink, totally not the right pink, that's the one over there. Print that out in the same way with this one. So whenever I pull this over, I don't even have to have this on top of this because it can print out. I would just put the K here and then 
Kinsey as close to the the top as I can so I don't waste paper and print off my Kinsey first in pink and then take that off put my green in and print off my K in green so you just have to switch your colors out Did that make sense at all? <laughs> I know I just did so many things. Those are just some of my quick favorite things. Um, I mean, a script name always looks beautiful. Script uh, monogram always looks beautiful. I like the round ones too, especially for pockets. I love the round ones on pockets. Um, and like I said, the K with the name through it, it looks, it looks good with everything. Love it on cups. Love it on the top of a cup that is going to a fade. So, hopefully, that helps some. Um, and if you pull an SVG from um, Etsy, you know, you need the business edition or designer edition, and then you can just pull it in the same way with when I upload an SVG. It's the same way. Um, I don't use weed lines. I just cut around it because you can see it. Um, the only time I think I'd use weed lines is I was doing like a bunch of names or something just to make it easy. If someone else was pulling it, I just cut around them though, um, and I'd be fine. You can see weed lines right now. I my weed lines would not show up on this because I have too many things on top of each other. So I think that's about it. When I print on my water slide, I use preferences, photo paper, glossy, and high. It was on standard because I print my glitter stickers on standard because I don't want to waste all my ink. Um, so photo paper, glossy, and high. Same way with printable vinyl. I use the glossy printable vinyl, not the not the matte matte mate nut whatever one. Um, <laughs> And then, yeah, just switch your vinyl colors out. So, boom shakalaka. All right. I hope that helped. Yes, I think. Okay. If you have questions, message me. Just ask me on here even because I know that was like super fast and I did like more than I thought I was going to do. <laughs> Just always remember to weld scripts, um, weld your monograms, especially you don't have to weld the, um, oh my God, I'm trying to click on the live video. I'm such a dork. You don't have to weld this kind because they're not touching but anytime letters are touching you're going to want to weld those um so that they don't cut through same way here okay so welding is important for sure um yeah i think that's like the big thing is don't miss your welding because you, then you don't have a mess right here right here I mean it really is I've I've done it I've been there um, so don't do that so I think that is probably good for today um, and we can work on some other things you know next week but I think that's a good start as far as like with names and words of different things you can do with words to make them, you know, beautiful. So, I used to do rhinestones and stuff, and they had a very cool 
Ooh, what is this? I want to make a puzzle. Yes, I want to make a puzzle. Um, see, there's stuff on here that I'm like, oh. Well, that is neat. I don't know what one the rhinestone one is. Is this rhinestone? Yeah. They used to make rhinestones and put the rhinestones all over the letters and stuff. It's actually quite satisfying, but I don't I don't do it much anymore. But hopefully that helps. And let me know, you know, if you have any other questions that you have trouble with. I'm like just looking through, just trying to make sure that I got everything that I feel like is like word type stuff to start printing out words pretty quickly. And I really can't think of much else for the words. So Aspen's on her way and I like have nothing ready for her since I didn't spray paint. <laughs> I'm going to teach her how to print out glitter stickers, I guess. Okay, I think we're good. Um, I use trace a lot. I use offset a lot. Uh, I don't really use transform very often. And I use modify. because That's where you can weld and subtract. This was a subtract all. Remember that too. And it'll subtract whatever is on top. So whenever you want to subtract all like we did, we offset this first. Then I selected the offset and the K and then went up to panels, modify, it subtract all. Oops, I didn't mean to actually push it, but that's okay. It didn't do anything because I didn't have to. I was like, oh no. Um, it will subtract like whatever's on top. Same way with this one. We subtract it all. Whatever one is on top, that's the one that will subtract off of the other one. Also a good thing to remember because I have totally done it backwards before whenever I first was going. Yeah, I mean, it takes getting used to. It does. There's a lot of things you can do. But once you start figuring things out, then, you know, it starts coming together. So download some fun fonts. I'll keep putting some in the unit, just so you guys have a lot of my favorite ones. I have a cool blood one that I use for Halloween. So it looks like the letters are bleeding. It's pretty fun. Um, yeah, I love the monograms for sure. So I'll talk to you ladies soon. I'm going to spray paint here shortly and then <laughs> glitter at some point because I'm so behind on everything. So talk soon. Love y'all.